something happened yesterday in the grant community that triggered so many action reaction in the grant ecosystem uh comrade comrades are coming out to attack madam tommy Tokwe. we all know tommy, tommy Tokwe. she is the woman that championed the movement of operation show me your document concerning the grant she was the one that took apostle ken wakama to human rights of course on her movement this woman is so bold she came up with uh, some group of people that uh, she took to uh, the human rights of course at the moment she is still on that mission and she got to find out that there's a grant that is uh, real so real and she came out to uh, project it out to all nigerians in the grand ecosystem and this has triggered so many reaction i want everybody to pay attention to madame Tomitokwe as she projected this very grant that is very real to everybody in the grant community it has triggered so many reaction in the grand ecosystem listen to what is happening in the grant community good news live update stay tuned and subscribe if you are new to our channel as we are here to update you on the going on in ecosystem grant ecosystem thank you for joining us good afternoon nigerians good afternoon to all the prospective beneficiaries and ceos in the grant community i am temitokpe eluyemi balogun i want to quickly give you my experience yesterday and I will want you to please take note of it. I am not a grant handler, neither am I their spokesperson. But I experienced something yesterday, and I think I have to let the public know about it. I, you, you all know that we are requesting for the proof of all the grants that, have, that we have subscribed to in Nigeria. We are requesting for the proof, the availability, the authenticity of all the grants. And that was the reason why we wrote our petition to the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. Of course, the case is opened, they've listened to us, and we are awaiting the final reply from the presidency where the CDHR will help us to write to, we help us or might have written to. We await the reply by the special grace of God. Uh, as I was going up and down in this uh, struggle, somebody gave me a work to do. I was informed of a grant in Nigeria. I was informed and I told them that the one that we are doing, we, that we are looking for, we are yet to get the results. Why are you calling me again? to inform me of this particular one. So they said no. They are calling me because they are seeing that this one is real and they want me to help them out in a particular way area. And they think since I am able to go long in this uh, struggle, they are looking at me using any connection I might have, have to help them out. So I asked them more questions and they decided to show me the proof of the grant. I laid my hands on it, I cross-checked, and it amazed me. I look at it that oh, can can this be true? Is this real? I saw a lot of letters and I saw proof from the federal government. So it amazed me. And I decided, okay, what do you need? They said, the person that called me, that told me, that discussed with me, said the last thing they needed is for the approval from our government so that the money can come in and everybody can laugh and smile. So I said, okay, if we have subscribed to over 75 grants and we have not even seen an acknowledged paper or sent to abroad from any one of them but we have believed in them paying huge amount of money and if this one now comes in and i'm not even part of it and now they want me to find out if the masses can get help from this 
Then we will beat the happiest one. So I decided to take it up. And I said, okay, I will find out. So we took ourselves, we moved yesterday from one place to the other. And finally, we arrived at the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. Uh, I want to let you know that we got there. I introduced myself as a Temitokwe Eluyemi Balogun. And I went with an honorable. We talk, we explain ourselves to the person we were directed to, one director. And we give glory to God that God assisted us. So I was there. They asked me several questions. It got to a stage, I started looking at myself that what is the meaning of these questions? And uh, I answered them accordingly because they asked me if I have seen the owner of this uh, uh, organization before. Uh, who is he? I said, I don't. They told me he's a professor. I said, I've not seen him before. I've not discussed with him before. I don't know anything about him. I just saw that this document is real because something stamped by the federal government is going to be a special one. So I just want to know how this uh, ministry can assist us so that the money can enter Nigeria. That is why I'm here. So the woman now said, okay, do you aware the person is professor? I said, I don't know. I know somebody introduced and I have facts. So I gave them the details of the person that gave me the, the job to do. And what am I discussing? Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking of Epic Charity Foundation. Epic Charity Foundation. So the director looked at me. He said, ah, you say you have not seen prof before. I said, I have not. But of course, this is real. And madam, if this thing can enter the country, definitely I too, I will be partaker of it. And all this, I will struggle up and down. But venture, we will be able to Forget about all our hardships. And that's why I am willing, whatever way it can go, that we can bring this money down to Nigeria. Right there, as we were sitting down, the woman told me that truly this is a grant. It's a project. And which I, of course, I saw all the documents. And has been filed. They are already on it. And as we speak, because of the changing of power, a lot of things happened, and yet the man, the professor, did not stop because he has the mind of the masses at he, he, he has it at his heart and is willing and ready to assist the masses. So the, the director told me that the professor did not stop. He continued in his struggle to make sure that this money, this fund, entered the country. So I said, wow, that is great that we are only looking for the paper that is the ready, willing, and able RWA. That is why I'm here. Let's know where the process stopped so that we can uh, also use the little connection we have to assist the struggle, to the bringing in of the fund. And uh, the woman said, a minute. She put a call across to the professor and explained briefly to him. So the professor requested I discuss with him and he asked me of when the phone was given to me, he asked me of my name. Immediately I said, I am Temitokwe Eluyebi Balogun. <laughs> the professor was a little angry and she was like, he was like, ah, madam, what happened? I am not fake. I, I know what I have suffered before I can get this opportunity. Why are you looking for whether I'm fake or not? And thank God you are now there. Have they told you that I'm real? Have they told you that this one is real? And now say, please, sir, I, I beg your pardon. Yes, I am the woman agitating to know the truth about all the grants that have come to Nigeria. But, sir, this particular one, I have never seen it as fake because I, I saw all the things that make me to believe that this is real and that was the that is the reason why i am here today so it took me some time to explain myself and why i came he said i should give the phone back to the director and he asked the director some questions which the woman also told him the same thing that all the questions she has asked me 
that she noticed that yes i believe in this grant and i have seen the proof that i just came thinking i can be of assistance to bring in i mean to get the paper and now that uh, i have seen the proof that he, she want to tell me how long the professor have gone so she was able to explain a lot of things to me and the honorable we were together and she told us that this particular one is just a little in a little while the money will enter the country i was so happy i was so happy i was so happy so the professor asked for me to discuss with him again and then he started he told me a lot all what he has went through what and what needed to be done and he equally appreciates me and i now said sir i am sorry i am not an enemy to any grant handlers that he will remember what we have passed through in the hand of the grant handlers in nigeria he is aware of all the grants we have entered into he said yes and now that i said why i am here is because i saw this your own epic charity foundation that the document is complete what and what you wanted to use the money for has been written boldly and has been approved by your own donor that is why i was happy i cried to god god lead my lead me where should i run to so that i can know how to assist that this money can come into the country and the professor told me that madam surely you pray god answer your prayer but i want to tell you that god has addressed the issue that you do you shouldn't need to worry yourself again because the everything has been done and we they are now waiting for the money to enter the country there are just a little things to get from the government which the government is already aware and the government is even ready and they everybody is waiting so i was happy and i was happy and i asked sir i would like some of us to be part of this he said okay i should give my phone number to the director before leaving the place so that was what happened yesterday and i think i have to let the public know why i was agitating for the grant that we have subscribed to so that we can know whether they are real or not somebody gave me a work to do so that epic charity foundation grants that of projects can enter nigeria and i went to the place the ministry where they will undo it i was told that it is even beyond that that everything has gone to the final level and they are all expectants to receive the fund so the public i want to tell you that truly there are grants that are coming into the country only that there are some people that might use the opportunity to scam the masses today i want to tell you that i lay my hands on the epic charity foundation grant document i saw it with my koro koro eyes i saw everything about it the fund that is coming where is coming to and who facilitated it i saw how many years this professor has been running up and down having sleepless nights just to make sure this grant is being approved by the donor he has faced a lot of things in the writing I, that i saw and i say kudos to him this is the work of god he has done the work of god a servant of god should have been doing and i am saying this afternoon the professor i did not know his name and even the, the joy in me couldn't allow me to even ask of his name because he was a little angered when i first spoke with him he later realized that no i am coming there for a good purpose so i want to tell the old nigerian that epic charity foundation grant is real we they are just waiting for the fund to arrive in nigeria by the special grace of god and since that yesterday i have been praying to god also praising god that at least in this struggle that i came out god showed me something huge that will liberate the whole nigeria so i want to encourage you my because i requested for a favor 
from the professor that yesterday i requested for a favor what was the favor i said professor i in person i did not subscribe to your grant because i was tired i said i did not subscribe because i was tired and then i did not have money so he said okay now that you have seen the proof and you are sure even the 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 ministry they said they have been praying doing fasting and prayer for the fund to come because they too have projects inside that uh, grant so he gave me the opportunity on phone he assured me that surely whatever need for me to enter he will grant me also so on this note i first want to give glory to almighty god who is able to do all things who gives when nobody can give who gives when you think the the the, the end have come is supplied when you think there is nothing again so i give glory to almighty god for the for this opportunity for me to be able to see this a uh, grand document of epic charity foundation and i also want to appreciate the fe the federal government of nigeria who has been helping out in making sure this grant and en enter nigeria i also want to use the opportunity to appreciate the director i don't want to mention her name of that that i spoke with in the ministry she's a woman she's a mother and she understood our plight and she used her office to help me explain to professor and i want to say thank you ma i also want to appreciate the professor and all the people that team up for this great opportunity from the bottom of my heart i say professor thank you so much since that yesterday i have been crying to god I have been praising God. I have been thanking God because at least there is hope for us in Nigeria. There is hope for the masses in Nigeria. As, as you have given me the opportunity, sir, I want to beg you through this voice note that as many as NGOs that are yet to come into your own organization as partner, please give them also the opportunity. We have been scammed we have been battered we have been injured but with this your project i believe every one of us we have something to lay our hands upon and our organization too can be revived so on behalf of them i'm saying please professor please open more door so that we too can come in and again i want to tell the public generally the ceo of non-governmental organization and the cooperative society i want to tell you that there is hope for us in uh, the grant coming in through epic charity foundation so all of us that have not subscribed uh, i am not part of them and i'm not their spokesperson i am only informing you what i saw and what happened yesterday so find your way to their office to subscribe to become their partner don't pay extravagant money that they have been telling us because when i add of it i think it was one hundred and fifty thousand. the person that told me said they are paying but what i was told yesterday amazed me because i was told that to become their partner a token of fifty thousand naira per organization and cooperative we be the one we are going to pay so i would like every one of you to please subscribe and please take note this is not a grant to be given to beneficiaries i saw it i read through it and i saw it is majorly for projects of course you can go for agricultural projects where your beneficiary your prospective beneficiary too can be part of the program and thereby every one of us will go home smiling so that is what i needed to let you know today please if you have not subscribed to it i've seen the document this is not about somebody telling me i went around yesterday and i was happy that i saw the truth please why i am chasing uh, to know the truth of about uh, 11 grants that we wrote petition against we saw one that can cover the 11 and can 
wipe away our tears and i think it is beyond it will be unfair if i will not let the public know that is why i am coming out today to explain to you that epic charity foundation grant he is purposely for project is project based grant majorly for ngo and cooperative society limited and i was told that limited companies too can participate so yesterday i have the honor to speak with one with one of their spokesperson and he explained in details to me also the do's and don'ts and i'm happy to tell you that this their grant we soon enter the country because i saw the people in charge of the process from the federal level and i thank god for it so if you have not participate like if you have not been part of them like myself i have used this opportunity to appeal to the professor to please open more doors so that we all can rush in and i believe by the special grace of god every one of us we enjoy this opportunity once again i want to thank the whole people that part that work this thing uh, this grant out epic charity foundation grants i want to appreciate you and i want to say may you live long this work you have done for we the commoners for we the ordinary people the down trodden we will never forget you your generation will come and the, your, your your unborn generation will come and hear about the good work you have done for this great country my prof even though i did not know your name i want to salute you i want to appreciate you i want to say thank you sir i want to thank all the management of epic charity foundation and i want to thank all the federal prostatas that are working this out because if this thing enter the country is going to be a lot of opportunity for us thank you all once again i appreciate every one of you for believing in this struggle and i am not advertising please take note i am not advertising grants on behalf of anybody i am not advertising grants i am only explaining my experience yesterday and what i saw what i was told what i see and what is coming and i think you and i supposed to be part of it that is why i decided to give you the experience and to tell you if you are interested please find your way to their office they have uh, they told me they do not ask, they do not accept top party registration you have to pay directly to their account so that they will undo it by themselves so if you are interested please find your way to their organization if they permit me i will inform them how to go about it but please this is not a beneficiary bundle bundle cluster cluster grant it is a project that you as a ceo and you uh, as a ceo of non-governmental organization and cooperative society limited can participate and the limited liability companies too can participate the money for the logistic of the limited liability is different from the ngo and cooperative i was told that one is hundred thousand but we the ceo and cooperative society we are the real people that needed to partner and i am appealing to you because <laughs> the years that they gave this professor this angel the year they gave him that this thing will be coming and coming and coming i don't want any one of us to miss out once again i thank you for believing in this struggle the women seeking for the proof of all the grants that have entered nigeria while looking for the one we subscribe to i lay my hands on the one i never subscribed to but right here at our doorstep and i am happy i am going to be part of it by the special grace of almighty god we will keep on praying for them and if there is any other grant that are hidden somewhere in this nigeria by the special grace of god as you people are praying more of it will be coming out and those that scammed us those that do not have grants but they believe they can scam us because we are gullibles god will vindicate us and justice i prefer once again i say good afternoon good evening good morning i remain your home servant 
temi tokpe elu yemi balogun thank you all and god bless you